like the way her mouth moves is like, I'm the shit. <laughs> to a solo artist named Say. She was a former member of the girl group Evol and debuted as a solo artist with her first digital single. She evolved. <laughs> oh my god. Her stage name Say stands for her hope to say something through music. This song is an empowering I don't give a F party song and was composed by Dee's and Say herself. Cool. Oh. Oh man. Break it down. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> Is that her voice? That's low. <laughs> She's got a nice voice. It's very clear. Very clear. Not a lot of breathiness. Not that that's bad. But I, I, I like the clarity. It's got a little bit of that vibe of like, I'm bad, look at me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's really nice though. They just kind of thin out the texture. Nice fanfare. Mm -hmm. Get it, fanfare, because she was talking into a fan. Oh, I love the lazy. Jiggy, jiggy, jiggy. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This is very good. It's got a real focus on the vocals. I appreciate that. Oh, I like that. The little, like, pop into the choruses here and there. That's a lot of power. Yeah, when they do chord, 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 chord. Yeah. That's cool, too. Join a chorus, kids. Like, the way her mouth moves is like, I'm the shit. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, her that's how her lips are dripping with confidence. <laughs> oh whoa. Oh she went pretty high. So her speaking voice sits pretty low, but she has good range. It's kinda like grungy but at the same time very clean because they've got all this busy textures and then they have just moments of silence in between modal mixture in the bridge oh she avoided it she avoided the pickety that time Whoa! Flat two, Neapolitan. All right. And then dance break, which is Ooh. very welcome. School band into some synths. Honestly. Drum line. Man, the cor it's so minimalist, but it works so well. Can I twerk? <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, she didn't do the jump jiggy jazz jump jiggy. Outro She's rap. She's speaking English. Outro rap. <laughs> that took me a second to realize yeah. she's speaking English. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yes. Jigga One more time. Jam jiggy jiggy jam jiggy. Yeah, ukulele. That's pretty good. Ooh, this is good. This is really good. Oh my god. Wow. What a Whoa, what a bad. What an opus. What an opus. What an opus number. <laughs> yeah, what an opus of a song. That like yeah, crazy that was... was like oh, it's a good time. <laughs> Like, I got the swag. I'm not even trying. I loved how they added more like vocals, but like like the background vocals. Like there was like that thing on the bass that we were talking about that we were like, is that sexy back? Like you yeah. just have like 
Like this is really 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 The lead-in was a bunch of brass instruments, what I assume is just mostly trumpets, because it was very high. You're like, hello. Um, and then that went in, that led in from the pre-chorus to the refrain of the marching band, dun, 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 with all the snares. And I thought that was super cool because they stayed within the realm of an instrumentation, of a style. And that's like, we, you, people sample from so many different genres now that it can sometimes sound like a big, big mod podge and you can't really draw out a single feeling. But this was like, I'm really feeling drum major right now. I'm really feeling football game, homecoming, let's cheer. And that was really interesting. The funny part is that was very like football game and then at the very end you can hear like the sneaker skid across like the gym floor and that's like oh, very basketball game. Yeah. She's doing like the jum chicka jum jum. I was like... Which is, yeah, 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 the ear. <laughs> like, it's, yeah, if you've been like running on like a gym floor and like your sneakers just like squeak, <laughs> like yeah. that. This is really interesting. I'm getting a lot of Beyonce vibes from this. It's early 2008 Beyonce because yeah. of the vibe and the funk beat. It reminded me so much of funk because it had like some of the horns like you would hear, ba -da -da, and like mm -hmm. stuff like that, that yeah. would like be a shout section for a funk tune. Yeah. And it reminded me a lot of Talk Dirty to Me by, I forgot who. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But not like Also that. partition, just the whole like, yeah. like she, like the, the, where her voice sits, it's like pretty low. low which is like sort of reminiscent. Even the sounds that she was making were sort of like reminiscent and just the whole like air of like badassery and even like the the mixing and like the, the production on the song. It was just like, there were a lot of similarities, but maybe it's just like, she's a boss <laughs> and that that's just like the Beyonce vibe. I don't know. Yeah, like, I felt like she was like emulating somebody, but she kind of like made it into her own style, which I liked. Yeah. You could tell that she did, was inspired by um, pop culture or hip hop culture because she did rap and like, it did remind me of like other mm -hmm. artists, but like she did kind of make it into her own, which was cute. Yeah. She's cute. This is really good. Yeah. I was really surprised when she started belting like really high up there. Cause I yeah. didn't expect it. I was like, her voice sits low, you know, she's not going to go very high, mm -hmm. but she did. She surprised me in that way. I've heard this type of more laid back beat but still mm. banger type song but i think this song just combines a lot of things that other songs have hinted at like mm. using the brass wall like having a distorted bass mm. and then that sort of muttering type of lazy chorus <laughs> but it all comes together in this way that by the time we finish the first chorus i'm not even thinking about structure i'm not even thinking about no. anything i'm just enjoying the song for every second that it reveals itself. But in, in the midst of that, I like the rap verse that's kind of installed near the end. And yeah. then, yeah, the, the way she raps in English. And I didn't know she was actually gonna say I don't, she doesn't give an F, but yeah. that was even very welcome. Having her voice going spike really high and then have this, I wouldn't say muttering. Would it be muttering? It's very low, low frequency. Yeah, the consonants are all very soft yeah. and on purpose. Yeah, but it's still audible. That's the very important part. And it wraps everything together because you have all these heavy beats. So where is this going? Like there's so much potential with such an upbeat. I guess upbeat and very, very explorative tempo and also use of meter. Yeah, it was just very interesting to see how, how she utilizes all these, or I guess the composers utilize these techniques to come together. And then the focal center has the, the mutter that wraps it really together. What is the synonym to badass? Head bitch in charge. That's, that's not that's better. Worse. <laughs> and you can't, I can't say dominatrix either. Like, that's worse. <laughs> that's way worse. <laughs> Try, but she's like building this artist persona around herself with like the lyrics and the way that she's like presenting herself and like also having like that group of people dressed in black around you with pink gloves on that mm -hmm. have your initials on it. Um, but it like plays on that like, I don't know, the whole like John Jigga, John, John. That's definitely something I would listen to in my apartment and I'm like strutting around in my underwear and I'm just like, this is the confidence I needed today. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba, -ba -ba -ba, demonetized.